Please talk about when you think Yeet dropping. I think Yeet's dropping soon. Because obviously, there's a lot of promo that's going out. Because he's getting 2093 projected in like, where was it? I'm pulling it up. Hollywood, right? Hollywood sign right by. That's good promo. Wherever that is, a gas station in Romania by Andrew Tate's house in the Batmobile or something. There's also the Hollywood shit. Um, I think that was in Paris. Don't know where that is. That's also, that's Tristan Tate's house. Don't know where that is. Actually, I think that's the Empire State Building. There was another one where it was Big Ben in London. So it seems as though it's coming very, very soon. I thought Cardi and him were having a delay off, but I, it looks like Cardi ain't dropping anytime soon. They're on the same label. They're on Interscope. So I assume that Interscope would not want to interfere either one of them with the other artist. So that's probably what's going on because they're kind of, of course, Cardi's bigger than Yeet. But I'm just saying, like, you normally don't want to drop around the same time um, on the same label because the marketing resources will, like, conflict with each other and it'll fuck everything up, basically. Now, with that being said, though, with Yeet dropping soon, I feel like he kind of lost a little bit of hype because he was going hard for, like, three months. I want to say before Christmas, we were talking about the alien shit. Um, 2093 was a cool concept. What, what was it? Life, lifestyle corporation or something like that. Lifestyle. Yeah. He had the cool movie trailers. Look at that. How many views they got? One mil, 1.6 mil, 1.2. He had the Drake feature that he came up, uh, came up off of. So he's bound to sell a lot first week for this album. However, he got all the hype up and then he just went away. And then was like, well, everyone forgot about it, especially while everybody was getting excited for Playboy Cardi's out. So, of course, I don't think it's gonna affect his career all too much because like countless times, Yeet has surpassed all expectations. He probably has a plan, he's fine. But I'm just saying, like, my hype is kind of for Cardi un until he drops. I'm, I really don't care about anyone else dropping right now. Maybe some underground music, because that's just like one off singles and shit. But uh, that's really what I'm waiting on, especially because, again, Yeet kind of went away. He's working on the project. But look, let's see how how many days apart these were. This was November 5th, 2023. This was November 13th, 2023. November 20th, 2023. So, all November. Now it's, been, it's we're almost in February. So that was 11, that was two, two more than two months ago. So, that he was kind of quiet and all we got is like projections. So, and, and he posted a couple snippets here and there, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, I don't know if I'm all too hyped. Although, some that one guy said 120K easy first week. Now, what did he sell last time? 50, 52, 54, something like that? For Afterlife? Let's go check. Yeet, Afterlife, first week sales. Damn, I was in the rhythm of like, 55K first week. It's the fourth album on the Billboard 200 charts. And they spelled yeet wrong, bruh. This, I guess that was a TikTok like transcript. So 55K. And now you're saying 120? I mean, to be honest though, he did just get off the Drake feature. That was the number one global song. But coming off of, coming off of like after, I mean, sorry. When did the Minion song drop? like 2022 and then he dropped afterlife like a few months ago or a few months after that or was afterlife in 2023 one was uh ye afterlife release date 2023 okay so the, the minions was 2022 so all i'm trying to say is ye has had multiple super high points and tiktok runs 
the industry, you know that like when a sound is popping, like labels are literally throwing money like it's a fucking strip club at artists, that is, pause. And then that boosts up the sales because TikTok again, like runs the culture. Unfortunately, I'm not really on TikTok, but I know it's true because everything that happens on TikTok bleeds into Instagram and Twitter, which is where I'm more at. So the Drake shit blew up on TikTok as well. And Drake's the biggest artist in the world or one of them, because I know The Weeknd and Taylor Swift are also killing it. And I think may have more monthly listeners than Drake at this point. Because Drake, I feel like, is kind of on the tail end of his career. He's still popping, don't get me wrong. But he's kind of, he's not at his peak anymore. At least quality-wise, there's no way. No one can argue that with me. Um, I don't think anyone would, though, argue. But so, 20, 120K is a little bit too much. Don't y'all think? I think, I think Max is, it's like, Max 105. Minimum, I think, minimum, I think like 50. I don't, I truly don't think after coming off the Drake feature, featuring on Drake's album, being the number one global song in the world, that Drake is, I mean, sorry, that Yeet is going to sell less than what he sold last time on Afterlife. There's literally no way. And in addition to that, with all these bot farms and labels got, I doubt that they would let that happen. And they would, the playlisting and Yeet's still like, not, I wouldn't say an icon necessarily, like he's not a Kanye, but like in the new upcoming scene, he is representative of like the new scene. Same thing with Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely. So Fago, not so much anymore, but he was at one point. So I really doubt that they let him go under 50K is what I'm saying. So minimum 50, 50K, 55. I could see like a, I could see like a 70 to 80. Cause he's going up step by step. Two Alive was 32K or something. Okay. Then uh, what was the next album after that? Two Alive. I gotta go back. We, I haven't really like talked about Yeet in the longest. Okay, so he'd up to me, two alive, two alive, geek pack, life. Okay, so what did life sell? Yeet, life, first week, sales. 30K, but that was an EP, if you recall. That was only like 12 songs. Okay, so that didn't really matter all too much. But then with Afterlife, which was an, oops was an album of 22 songs, then he sold 55K. So if 2093, even though he said he's going back to 1093, so maybe that's like the deluxe or something, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but for 2093, I'm saying 70 to 80K. That's my prediction. Cause he's going step by step, 30K to 50K, like in that range, then he's going to 70K, in the range of 70 to 80K, right? 100K if Drake is on it, Okay, you know what? I can't, I can't argue that. Now, I'm not saying that it's guaranteed though. I'm saying it's possible. It's popsicle if he gets the drag feature. Who else though? 2093 doing more than 100K. Numbers don't really matter. I'm gonna be here regardless. I don't think it's doing over 100K bro, unless he gets Drake. Who else is there really in the game that's like gonna help out your numbers? Cause realistically, there's Drake and then Yeet's already had Uzi, so he can't pull that card again. Or if he does, it's just gonna be like, you're comparing, like he already sold 50K with Uzi on it and he already sold 30K with Gunna and Thug and Uzi, I think. So you gotta go next level to like, I don't know if Lil Baby got that pull. Cardi definitely does. Uzi here he got. Drake, I'm trying to think of anyone else. Travis Scott, okay, Travis makes sense. That would boost numbers for sure. Future maybe, but that's, I already said that. I said, okay, he got Gunna, Thug, Uzi. All he needs to get is Future because he already got Drake too. He's got, that's the last Infinity Stone. He got everybody, he, he got even Drake. He just needs to get Future. Fuck Lil Baby. 
fuck the baby he's trash i've been saying that so long i always liked gunner more always since the beginning and everybody else is telling me like nah little babies that this was like around the 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 freestyle era little baby's freestyle era or my dog my dog i was like dude that's cool and all but gunner's the one now i don't like gunner as much as some of these other artists but still gunner over baby and that why do you think he worked with gunner and not little baby it's probably just because Gunna's more like, I don't know. He's more drippy than Lil Baby. Whereas Yeet, I don't know, it just fits, it fits that subgenre more, like on the alien shit, whereas Lil Baby's more of like a street rapper in a way. Lil Baby was good. Bro, the whole, it was just the last album? No, bro, his own, I mean, I guess, I guess, like a lot of people liked that. What's, what's that last album that he did? Um, Cause it was one of the highest selling albums in 2020 my turn my turn like even more than eternal a take i didn't even really like that album all too much i just feel like that was when he was at an all-time peak because sometimes just because people are streaming it in my opinion does not mean that it's actually good like like i'm sure there's plenty of songs y'all don't like that get hella streams and you're like this shit is trash like no offense to Uzi, cause he's he's my goat, right? But um, what's the dance song at this point? It's been so long. What? Uh, just wanna rock. That shit's trash, bro. But he got a lot of streams just because of the marketing. 